Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a very early morning, it's half past four. Painting today is going to be this one, uh, but this one's an acrylic. This one's going to be watercolor. I did it yesterday, as well as do more acrylic paintings. Put the other stuff out of the way, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Not being able to sleep for hours, and then as soon as I start this, I start yawning. <laughs> but, um, this is one of the houses on. Cleveland's promenade. Um, if you keep going down the street there, you'll reach the the cafe, which is the uh, used on the one of the beach sets of Andor. Um, Um, the last few videos have been quite negative. Um, oh, I did consider not putting them out. Redoing the audio, and I just yeah, I don't have the energy to redo it. So, um, you'll probably have seen them by now. Uh, sometimes life is hard and the only way to deal with that is to keep going and that can be hard sometimes This is a funny little balcony because it's not a kind of it's not a full door height. Well, it, yeah, as you can see, yeah, it's the top of the door, which means this is less than two meters tall. Um, if I was stood next to that, I would be. Uh, my eye light would actually be kind of in their visibility. Um, from these photos, I can't actually work out how you get into. I assume that it's a sliding door. I assume. And although I took this picture, sorry, it's from a fair few years ago. Because when I took this picture, I was still working at the school. It's just that way. Um, I don't know what the school is. I don't want them checking up on me. <laughs> We can see if maybe the sun's out of school. Well, that would force them to actually prove to you that those things aren't true. Um, 
Um, the problem for me is I didn't say that he would have lost. Because they were all of them like he was. Mm -hmm. Within days. In like three days of quitting. They tripled the work you will address. You say I was always an exemplary employee, which meant both me and them. Replaceable, even if technically it will never replace your skill set, which is what they want done. Essentially, what they want is from uh, having a technician just kind of. Um, uh, a cheap teacher. So those who don't know, I am a qualified art teacher. Uh, who worked as a technician at a school for several years. Four years to be, you know, accurate. Well, four, so four school years. I worked for four academic years at this school. So that goes that way. And I'm not getting it very good. Um, I was never paid a decent wage. I used to have kids that used to beg me not to leave at the end of the day because I was the only one actually keeping them up and that's hard when you don't fairly recompense the kind of level of work you're doing As it was a few paying school, I used to tell them, I don't get paid enough to stay and help you. Sorry. If you want me to stay longer, you're going to have to come back. To a better school. cover the costs of childcare if I have to stay late, you know?
I was teaching uh, design technology there. It's not that long, so. That wasn't as good after this. <laughs> Don't think any of the kids ever saw me draw, but then I never saw most of the art teachers draw. Yeah. Because where I was teaching art wasn't how you taught art, you didn't do art to teach art. That's the state of education in this country, though. So. I work in the, in the independent sector. They didn't pay you for actually teaching the skill, but taught the skill. Ish. In the state sector, wasn't enough time to teach a skill. And even if there was time, I wasn't any good at it. So. Then, then the better. Uh, I practiced for the last. Because by training, I should say, by training, I'm a batter. Uh, I always wanted to learn to draw, so this recently is recently the last six years, six and a half years now. Um, as you can tell from. That is the number of days in a row. Two, four, three, six. It's just under six point six years. Um, Because I started in May and it's now December. If you are, if you do want to draw, um, just, just draw. Um, I said before, you know, I went to art school for a year, and then this is my new pen. I quite enjoyed it, um, and then I went to. To art school generally is like 16 to 18 here. But I went as a mature student. Uh, because I had originally come to university to study science uh, and didn't enjoy it. Dropped out after a year. Um, So, I 
comes to qualifications, it's like I have no qualifications from high school, college, elementary, university. <laughs> and not just one. Uh, got two postgrads today. Why not? Rather than the science, which is pretty much all my. Uh, My other qualifications. So my GCSEs and A levels are all like maths, physics, chemistry. And, you know, I was a decent mathematician, I just didn't find it interesting. The day I left university to do science, pretty much ingrained up my mind. So, enjoying it. And I just kind of told my parents I was going home. Do it anymore. Wasn't that I wasn't getting good grades, I just Um, so I went for the train and it was a, it was like January, February and it was snowing. Not around here now, but one but <laughs> where I was, it was snowing. Um, The last bit of the clothes on my back. Um, no one went back to pick up the stuff. Once the snow had stopped. Mm. Oh, I went back. I say that I went back a few times because I had friends. There's no, none of us. Um, but yeah, I. Life's a long time to kind of. That was the first year of a four year straight to master's degree. That's not what was that. Um, yeah, it, life's a long time to do something that you completely hate every day. Um, especially as I was paying for my own degree, I didn't want to... didn't want to waste my time and money doing something that... Something that wasn't for me.
And it was more that I was more of the mindset that not that I'd study something else when I was just I'd get a job. Um, and to be honest, uh, right up until graduating from university with a degree in uh, degree in ceramics. I swear, in the January of that year, my intentions were still to get a normal job. Found out. And <laughs> Life threatening condition. I will have the best heart. Say that. Have a dodgy ticket. So the job I wanted to do was at a window, and I was told I wouldn't live. So I decided I would just. Uh, I love in this pad. This pad makes this new twist speed that you can cut off things more sturdy now. Compared to the dip pen, which I really love. Um, I can't say I feel the same way about some of the. It's like double the price of the uh, Lamy Safari. So. And this is under 20, this one's so 35. Release here in the UK. Um, yeah, when you're told you're not gonna live, you kind of, I kind of panicked and did what I wanted to do. What, you know. Is that what would you do if you only had kind of a few months left to live? And I did that instead. No, and I'm still here. <laughs> Twelve years on. Not dead yet. Twelve years on the um, I start really painting properly until well until then yeah. And then took breaks from it as I did other things. And after I did my second little postgrad, all I've done is draw and paint every day. Wouldn't. It's the first thing in my life that I wouldn't you know, take back doing. I mean, apart from the ceramics, I mean, yeah. something that just started as a. Yeah, I'm just gonna learn this for fun, which is what this started as first. really learn to draw and I'm still learning to draw drawing proficiently and to the kind of level I want to be able to draw is uh, not an overnight task but yeah I love drawing get to your voice
Anyway, I quite like that. More than yesterday's. More than I have for a while. Um, like I say, I'm enjoying uh, this new... I didn't know whether I was or not. Like I say, the only thing I don't like is the fact that you can't pull the lid off. You've got to twist it. Um, um, the thing that makes it different, nib-wise, is this has a flat nib. So it's really wide. One direction there and the other direction. Unlike the average fountain pen, where you have a little ball on the end. Um, which helps even out the kind of direction of stroke. I mean, you still get some from. Um, I have tested it against. It's like the kind of breadth of the mark is about the same. Because just this side is still on me. This is the kind of stuff. But you just get a bit more movement on the variation. As you move through it. Um, and the difference between the inks, because everyone raves about this kind of platinum carbon ink. The major difference for me is with these splats compared to these splats. Uh, the ink runs a bit more. Um, yeah, the ink's a bit more runny. It's a bit thinner. Um, uh, there's not much difference in the blackness for me. Not in the slight, anyway. Uh, anyway. It's just with trying my lamy with uh, this one's a water soluble ink, whereas none of these are. <laughs> none of those water soluble, whereas that you can still see it running. It's been drying for hours or so, so it will be dry anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Um, I hope today's been more enjoyable than the last few days. It has been for me, especially with the quality of the drawing. I mean, I've drawn, I've personally drawn this scene a few times, but I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching.